In Scotland, we drink whiskey by the barrel. Lizzie! Lizzie! Oi! Wake up! <sighs> What's all this? Look! <sighs> What's all this? Look! <laughs> What's all this? It's essentials! Come on, you got to open it. <sighs> Come on! What um, time is it? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Don't anyone ever give me any rest? Nope. Is it my birthday? Nope. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, what is it? Edinburgh, that way. So, well, Lizzie and I fucking catch up to us. She's always running away from me. So, we've literally, look at that church. We've literally just uh, stayed in the room in our little Airbnb for two days doing editing, eating food and not getting out much. And that's in a town of Moffat. Moffat, 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 Moffat. See that Airbnb, that bed and breakfast over there, right? That's basically a hundred pounds a night. I don't know what sort of people are affording these things. Hey Liz. We they did, it included full breakfast, didn't it? Yeah. A hundred pound a night. I don't know what this one is. <laughs> Which one? Seymour House. Didn't say. No. Sorry. And no they way. have no vacancies. You and should have gone up to the window and done that. For two I, I just got it. Oh okay. Not for, just a little bit, a lot. No. For two nights, we've tried to get into a restaurant and they, they're fully booked. But when we actually go to it, there's hardly anybody in there, is there? Not really, really. But I think, I think the restaurants are hotels as well. So the residents haven't booked out. This, so is, is, this is Moffat. So what they do is... <sighs> Sorry, dog. <laughs> So what, <laughs> yeah. so what they do is they obviously give preference to whoever's staying in the hotels first for meals. Fair enough. And then, and then uh, you have to phone up at about what five, half five, to see if you can get a uh, reservation after the residents have uh, booked their meal. One pound thirty-two. Oh. For a litre of petrol at Gulf it's in Moffat. It's a long Moffitt. way to come to come get it, haven't they? One pound thirty-two. One pound thirty-two, man. That is so cheap. Mm -hmm. That hasn't moved. If you want to park here. your camper van, come and park here because that's been there for three nights. There's quite a few of them there. <laughs> yeah, the camp camper van seems to park in the middle there. And I think it's free parking, and they're there. They've been there. Well, that one there, that, that one there has been there for two or three nights, and that one over there. Oh, hello. What council session? One or the other? Yeah. yeah. Look at that up there. 
Huh? That's a big ram. The rumbling tum. I filmed that the other day, didn't I? You did. The um, peppermint thing, wasn't there? Butterscotch. Cinnamon balls. Fruit pips and blueberry pips. So we did actually get a reservation in a pub tonight called the Black Bull. Didn't we go to the Black Bull in Corbridge as well? Yep, we did. Oh, look at this graveyard. Sixteenth of July, John Pagan, late cattle salesman from Liverpool and tenant of Breckensize in this parish, who died at Inverness on the sixteenth of July, eighteen fifty-one, aged sixty years. The monument is erected by his numerous friends in testimony of their high respect for this public and private character. Wow, he must have been something else, John Pagan. And fancy it being on my birthday. Yeah, there's another one up there. Here's the old church ruins here. From a long time ago. That's where we're going to dinner tonight, and that's the old church behind it. You have something to do with the, the Mall, Royal Mall. Oh yeah. And he perished in a big snowstorm whilst doing his, um, his duties oh, at 47. This is starting to get cold. We're starting to think that uh, Portugal would have been a better idea, <laughs> wouldn't it, Liz? You feel alright? It's not yeah. too bad, is it? Not really that cold. No. Happy we've not gone to Portugal? Um, happy we've come to Scotland and that then hopefully we're going to just go to Portugal. Alright, I don't know if they'll let us film in here, so... Well, oh, uh, you just say that on there. Oh, look at this place. I didn't know this was like this. Yeah. for the first time ever. Do you want me to film you? Okay. Are you supposed to have it with that? Are you supposed to have it with that? It's tastier black pudding. Better than black pudding. And it's fried as well. Yeah. 
What's the sauce? Mm. 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 It's good, isn't it? Mm. That's what I think of the haggis. You want to see these ribs? I don't think it's going to do them justice. Don't pour the wax all over them. I don't get them in the screen. Here you are. Alright. <laughs> In Scotland, we drink whiskey by the barrel. Well, good morning. You join us on our, I think it's day 67 on the road. Um, this is where we've been staying for the last few nights. We did show you the inside a little bit earlier, I think. Um, lovely little place. Um, in a place called Moffat in Scotland and um, we're just packing up the bikes getting ready for the off um, today we're going right across to the west coast over towards uh, I believe it's Ayr and then we're going to go up through Glasgow and um, go and stay somewhere which is just um, good morning uh, we're going to go and stay by Loch Lomond next. Now there is a horrible weather front moving in and we're going to hold up there for like two or three days at least. Here comes Nizzy. It's quite stressful putting everything on the bike to be honest. But the new pack on the bike, um, looking really good. Really good. This looks so much more compact and... I don't know, it just, look better, it just looks better packed. You don't need to pull it anymore. Good, isn't it? You've got It looks like left. No. Right. Okay, it's all clear, all right? So we are off this morning to the famous Bruce's Stone. I think it's in a place called Galloway Forest. Um, yeah, Bucklick Arms is a pretty good uh, motorcycling um, hotel. It's a biker's bar, yeah. Busy and I were just saying we're really lucky to get the sun at the moment. Um, it's been a beautiful ride so far little stop because this part of Lizzie's rack was coming undone that screw was virtually it was all the way out virtually wouldn't have been long and that would have come out so uh, we need to get some Loctite yeah. as we headed down the road unforeseen to both of us was a large piece of angle iron that was just literally laying right in the middle of the road I narrowly missed it. I didn't even know until Lizzie told me afterwards. But unfortunately, she went straight into it. I only had a quick time to swerve slightly. And as I swerved, I clicked the side of the angle iron. It flipped up as I went over it and it hit the bottom of the bike. A loud bang. I was concerned and I asked Neil to pull over. But unfortunately, he couldn't hear me properly. I got her to move in front of me so that I could just give a quick visual inspection to the bike. I couldn't see any problems, but Lizzie was a bit shaken up. And let's be honest, you don't know what's happened to the bike. So we had to pull over. 
Now, the road was a very, very busy A road, and we couldn't just stop by the side. So, luckily enough, just round the corner, we found a little, it was like a cafe, and we pulled into there so that we could have a look. Look at this. Battery's about to die. Lizzie's not feeling it today, are you Lizzie? Bruce's stone, 4.8 miles. What? You gotta go and see it. Yeah, what's this guy here? Oh, 4.8 kilometers, so about a mile and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say you can't take a motorbike or anything. Look out that road in a minute, you'll get a better shot up there. So from here, it's just an off-road route. Oh, I'm going and having a look. Go down the track. It says the track is rough and steep in places. There are no facilities, food, drink, map, clothing for bad weather, and a bicycle repair kit are essential. Pass forestry operations with caution. Do we really want to go into that? He is. You don't want to go? I don't know. I wonder what 
Google says. Right, so we've decided to go up the track. Here we go. Let's get Lizzie's glove on. Have I got to put that on? got up and now we're gonna have a look at the view I don't know where the actual stone is though Loch Trull Circular I'm not going up there so this is Loch Trull Loch Trull wow it's warm up here isn't it hey been in the mountain look at those trees Look at that lock. Wow. Well, I've got to admit, I thought there would have been a better, better place. No, you can't really, can you? Can't see much. Didn't them people come down there on their bikes? Well done. Oh, it's hard work. I'm quite 
out of this, this won't do much for me. It pushes against me, I'm fighting all the time. <laughs> Look at that big stone up there. <sighs> Let's get out of here. We made it. That's the most important thing. We made it here. Stags and deer. Yeah. I honestly can't believe how warm it is. But it can still be very warm, that's why people when they're skiing and that get burnt. Yeah, I think, I don't know. just arrived at our next Airbnb and there is nobody home to let us in so we're not sure what we're gonna do so keep you posted guys 